Creating rules on Cloudflare just got a whole lot easier. They now have templates that we can use as guides. So let's get started. So this is my Cloudflare dashboard, and this is one of my test sites that I have available. And on the left, we have the option that says rules. So in rules, there's now templates. We can go through these templates and use the ones that fit our needs. Now, be aware that Cloudflare has a super great free tier that you can start using right now. And when it comes to rules, you have access to 10 rules that you can configure for free per site. All right. So that's a great deal, right? So on templates, this is where we're going to get started. And as of now, there's 20 templates available that we can check out and see which ones we need that we can start activating really easily. Now, before I show you how to activate them, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're looking for a shared hosting plan, I do recommend that you check them out. They have super affordable plans. And right now they have the Black Friday sale that you definitely want to check out, all right? So if you go to the link in the description and jump over here, you'll find their shared hosting plans. You can grab plans from 195 to 759, depending on your needs, okay? So I will recommend the most popular one, which is the business plan. It's 295 right now. But if you add my coupon code, the price is going to drop even lower. And that's where I'm going to show you how to apply it. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current price, $141 with 60 cents, which is cheaper than it is most of the year. Plus, if you add my coupon code, that's SASMaster and apply it the price is gonna drop even lower. So now the price is going to be $127 with 44 cents. That's for 48 months, four years paid off for that price. So definitely, if you, if you want to grab a hosting plan, do check out that link in the description and use my coupon code. All right, so back to Cloudflare. As I mentioned before, rules and templates are available right here, and they have several available rules that we can start using. Some of these are basic, some of them are more complex, and each one of them will take you to the section where you go to set it up. So depending on what you need is what you select, okay? So in this case, for example, you can do a redirect. If someone types HTTP, it's going to automatically redirect to HTTPS, which is what most of us should use, okay? Don't use HTTP. But if someone types in that link, they're gonna jump into HTTP if you use this rule. Now, this rule can be bypassed over here on SSL and activated to just redirect them straight over there. But in this case, you can create a rule to do that. Now, if we wanna use this rule, I'll go ahead and create the rule. And it's going to ask me what I want to select for this rule. For example, the rule name, I'll leave it as is because it's just super easy to locate with that name, right? And then we have the option to use wildcard pattern, custom filter expression, and all incoming requests. It depends what you want to activate. I would recommend all incoming requests, and basically it's gonna redirect everything from HTTP to HTTPS. Um, the only thing that you should be considering is if a plugin or something that you're using does not have HTTPS, it will get broken, it won't work, right? So do consider that. So wildcard will work, for example, if you use this star right here, the asterisk, it's going to switch everything from HTTP to HTTPS, including subdomains, right? But if you remove the asterisk and add the domain, it will only work for the domain and not the subdomains, right? And here's the target URL, which will take them all to HTTPS. If I wanna deploy this, I go ahead and deploy it, and it's gonna jump me to my redirect rules, okay? Here they are. And now I am using one out of 10 rules that I have available on the free plan, all right? So you don't need to pay anything to use these rules and templates. So it's now enabled, and if I need to disable it, I can just go ahead and select there. And if I want to remove it, I just go ahead and delete it, and then I open up my space again for my 10 rules. Now, this is a really basic rule. I wouldn't recommend using this one, but there's other templates that are more complex that you can use with rules, right? So for example, you can cache everything. Now by default, it doesn't cache everything, so this could be a good option for you. This would be a good option if your website is static. That means it's a landing page, it's a business website, and it doesn't change until you make some changes manually, for example, right? But if you have a store, if you're uploading blog posts, if you're doing product pages that are constantly renovating and changing, don't use this, all right? But if it's a static page, this is fantastic because it's gonna load from your cache files instead of loading every single time from your hosting provider, right? So in this case, here's the name, cache everything, and you can do custom filter expressions or all incoming requests. Everything's gonna get cached with this. Now be aware that with caching your website, 
it's going to be static. So if you make updates and you don't see changes, you do want to clear the cache. OK, so be aware of that. All right. So you got a level eligible for cache and you have available options that you can also enable edge HTTL, browse TTL, cache key. And these are all elements that you'll go through and see if they are worth activating or not. Be aware that um, making these changes do test your site from different sources on your phone and all that just to make sure that everything's working correctly and something doesn't mess up. If they do, then go ahead and disable these. All right. So if we're good to go, everything's going to be cached for this particular website and it's now enabled right here. So that's how easy it is to use some of these rules. So instead of creating the rule from scratch, you can do so with the templates, which is what I'm telling you right here, which is super easy. Now, there's several of these available. For example, if you want to do a redirect from www to the root domain, um, I think in this day and age, we are not using www anymore. It's rare that you see these links. Uh, most of the time, it's just um, yourbranddomain.com. And you go to your website, you don't type the www. Again, this is a rule that you can create, but you don't have to you don't have to take your allowance of your free 10 rules to do this. You can also do this from your DNS provider, but those are different steps. And I'm not going through going through that on this video. In this case, we're going to through the templates, right? So if I want to do this, I'll create the rule from here again, wildcard, which will work also with every single domain that goes after www, including the subdomains, because I have the asterisk there and it's going to change it to the direct domain. So if someone types in, for example, www.mydomain.com, just, just an example, OK, if they type that in, it's going to redirect them straight to this, right? That's what it's going to do. That's what this rule is going to do, right? In this case, I'm not going to, to deploy it, but you get the idea. And there's several of these templates that go through these, read what they do and find out if it's the right fit for you so you can start using it on your website. For example, let me show you another one. If you want to, for example, re redirect visitors from specific countries, here's the rule. Go ahead and create the rule really easily here. And for example, here's the name for it, custom filter expression. And then here is the geolocation, right? So here it's saying from the country, GV, Great Britain, is going to redirect them to FR, which I would think it's France. And it's going to redirect them to this section, OK? Then here's the re URL redirect you're going to find right there and you can go ahead and deploy it. I don't use this here in Cloudflare, but that's the option there, right? And there's several available templates that you can start using right now. That's some of them right here. Let's go to the next ones. And this has just launched. So do consider that the templates are going to get larger. The library is going to get better. And most of the time, these templates are created because these are the most used. Some people might have specific use cases, and I'm guessing those will be getting added in the future. So do take advantage of the templates. Remember, if you want to use DNS, the Cloudflare DNS, it's free. They have a pre plan that's really great. You can use those templates right away. There's also security that you can use SSL, the DNS, which is super easy to use right here. And basically, I do recommend that you use Cloudflare because you can practically do everything for free. So do consider that. And if you plan to grab your hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code SASMaster. And that's a wrap.